Hey, it's Evan. If you've ever found yourself struggling to deploy an app to GitHub Pages, you're not alone. I've been there. So today, we're going to walk through the end-to-end -end process for deploying a Vite and Svelte application to GitHub Pages using GitHub Actions, hopefully saving us all from some future headaches. Let's dive in. All right, so first thing, um, I want to get into the habit of deploying everything because I'm a show-off. So let's start a new project. We're going to do npm create beat at latest. We're going to call this repo name svelte for tutorial purposes. We're going to select svelte JavaScript, and then we're going to follow these instructions. npm install, and then I'm going to open this in VS Code. So now that we're in VS Code, um, we want to, let's actually go to our GitHub and create a new uh, repository. And I'm going to call this tutorial app. All right. Let's create the repo. And um, now we need to go back. And then I'm going to initialize this repository, add my git ignore, and commit it. And then commit the rest, and now don't push the button. We're going to go here, back to our um, initialized repo on GitHub. We're going to copy this second um, flow, which, which says push an existing repository, and we'll just paste that. And now if we go back and refresh, we'll see the readme from the template application. And our next step is to update this vitconfig.js file. Um, I want to deploy this app on my github.io slash repo name um, because I already have a main app on github.io, which is like a portfolio page. So I'm just going to say base, and then I want to say repo name svelte. And here we go. And <clears throat> I also want to create a .github folder. And within that folder, I'm going to create another folder called workflows. And then in that folder, I'm going to finally create our deploy to GitHub pages.yaml. All right, so I asked ChatGPT to help me with this part. And I think this is like the most um, unfamiliar thing probably for most people. Um, so I think we can go through it line by line just to gain a familiarity with um, how the, the workflow file works. So YAML file here, and it runs whenever we push to main. So that's what this means. And whenever we push to main, it'll run this, what would you call it, script? Yeah, I guess it's like kind of a pseudo script. And then we have to add this line so that it can write back to the repo because it's going to create a new GitHub Pages branch and it's going to deploy the website to that branch. And so if we go through this, we'll see it's setting up on Ubuntu. It's checking out the code. It's getting node set up in the right version we want change this 
based on whatever you're using locally. And then we want to install, build, and deploy. And this uses a third party uh, deploy script, basically. And it publishes to dist, and then it takes that and um, copies it to the GitHub pages branch that it'll create. So now that we've gone through that, let's copy our code, our, our YAML, and save it over here. So now that we've got that, let's commit these, and I'm going to call it deploy action. And commit that, sync changes, and we are almost done but we need to do one more step but let's let's watch our action act all right build and deploy so it should be running so i think this is um you know, if you're having any problems this is the step where they'd show up But we've got a green check mark, and so so I think it worked. But we still need to do one more thing before it will be live, and that's to go to your settings under your repo, and then go to pages, and deploy from branch as your uh, source, and then branch. We're going to select GitHub Pages and save it. And now if we go back to actions, we can see it's running another action based on that GitHub pages setting. And now it's deploying the page. So we just need to wait a little while. We can see it's deploying the GitHub pages. And now the site's live. I'm going to open it. And here it is. I guess, yeah. So you can see it's running at my username.github.io slash repo names felt. And the website works. And my last recommendation is to check the console, see if there are any issues. And my advice is if you encounter any issues, go straight to ChatGPT and ask for advice. And hopefully this video has given you the terminology you need to know and the awareness for how to detect, identify, and ultimately destroy any issues you have. Happy coding and see you in the next one. Bye.